Welcome to the United Nations Publication Story Time. Today we are going to read our new book, From My Window: Children at Home During COVID-19. Remember when we all had to stay at home to slow the spread of the virus? Many of us kept looking outside as the world was slowing down. What did you see from your window? The stories in From My Window are inspired by true events and children from Asia and Europe to North America, Latin America, and Africa. You wonder what you, a young change maker, can do during the global crisis? Join our six young readers telling the stories of children from around the world and get ideas on how to take action to love, learn, create, and connect. Look, there is no one on the street. I don't go to school and I can't go out to play with my friends. Dad, what happened to us? Dad told me that there's a new type of virus that can get people sick. It can spread through the air when we are very close to each other. That's why we wash our hands a lot and stay at home. We are not the only family who stays at home. All our neighbors up and down the street stay at home too. But I guess the good part about staying inside is that I have plenty of time to read books. I went through all my favorite books and wished so much that I could read together with my friends. I have a brilliant idea. Why not share my books together with my friends online? We can see each other on our computer screens and we can read books together. Mom has not been home for many days, and I miss her a lot. Mom is a doctor and has. Been working so much because people in the hospital need her help. When she does come home, I can't hug or kiss her. We have to keep her distance, and we can all stay healthy, even though we're in far apart. We still find a way to connect, share love, and music. Every day at seven o'clock, we all open our windows and clap and sing and express our love and our gratitude to the doctors and the nurses and many others. People are happy. People. Just like my mom, it's a very fun time of the day. For a moment, we just laugh and sing, knowing that we're not alone. I know mom can hear us. Masks can protect us from the virus, but it is very sad to know that not every person in our neighborhood has access to masks. So we started to make them ourselves. I feel good when helping out. Life is not always easy. It's important that we look out for each other and knowing that we'll ultimately get through this. From my window, I see people standing in line for groceries, with all types of homemade masks. They all stand in separate circles to keep a physical distance. I haven't seen Grandma for weeks. People say that senior citizens in our society face a higher risk of getting sick from the virus. I want to make a card for Grandma, telling her how much I love her and miss her. Since I can't get close to Grandma, I wave to her from outside her home. We talk to each other from opposite sides of the window, making funny faces and laughing. It's so good to see her. I left the artwork I made for her at her front door and hope she likes it. Before leaving, I draw a flower on her window to cheer her up. Baking is my favorite thing to do while staying in. Now I am getting really, really busy because my bakeries are very popular. This is what I see from my window: families who need food or medicine will hang out a red drape from the windows so that people with good hearts know that they need help. People who can help and have something to give out put a green drape to signal that we are here to help. I put my baked goods in paper bags and leave them outside their front doors. 
the world is waking up after months, my friend and I can finally go out and meet. Today is the day. After a long winter, spring always comes. Never stop believing, together we can get through anything. Thank you for joining us for our story time. As you could see, all the children in the book are actively learning, creating, and supporting their communities, even when life was difficult and they were restricted to their homes. We invite you to join us to keep reading and creating. By making the world around us a little better, we make a difference on the world as a whole. For more books on challenges our world is facing and what you can do to help, follow the SDG Book Club today and share with us what you see and what you do from your window.